Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now welcome to another Q&A video series. Here I answer the questions that are posted in the comments section in the videos that you find below. Now today's question is from a previous video I had made entitled Ketogenic Do's and Don'ts. And I'll give you a link to watch that original video in a minute. So the question here that was posted was, how does a ketogenic diet affect muscle growth? Can I gain muscle being on a keto diet? Ever since I've been following this diet, I feel like I'm getting smaller and weaker. Now, a quick summary, a ketogenic diet is when you basically are eating no carbohydrates and just almost very little protein and thus the majority of your calories is from fat. And about three days of not having any carbohydrates in your diet, your body will run out of glucose and will then start using ketones as fuel, thus a ketogenic diet. Now, this is a good way to burn fat for many people because without carbs and glucose, your blood sugar and insulin production will be very low and your food that you eat will have a much harder time being converted to body fat. However, this is not a good way to gain muscle. In fact, long-term ketogenic diets will actually cause muscle loss. You have to understand that your muscles prefer glucose for energy. Doing any kind of sports or lifting weights where your muscles require fast you know, contractions Glucose is the preferred fuel. Ketones are a great fuel source for your brain, but not for your muscles. Also, long-term keto diets cause a decrease in testosterone and other androgens. They also lower thyroid production and IGF, which is the main anabolic hormone that, con that is converted from growth hormone. Now, experts will say how ketogenic diets will increase growth hormone and how great that is, but who cares about GH because it does nothing by itself. GH only works when it converts to IGF, which stands for insulin-like growth factor, which requires both insulin and thyroid, two hormones that are depleted on a ketogenic diet. Remember, the way you look and feel is all genetics and hormones. Now, you can't change your genetics, but you can control and optimize your hormones, which will then influence your genetics. For example, lean people, they have much better fat-burning hormones than, say, overweight people. Similarly, muscular people have better muscle-building hormones than, say, you know, skinny, weak people. So if you're going to follow a ketogenic diet to lose weight, yet you still want to build muscle, you'll have to cycle it carefully and not do it long-term. I suggest no more than two weeks of ketosis, and I actually prefer something like seven days on or three days off, right? But that's another topic for another video. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you get notified about this and similar uh, topics and videos coming up soon. And if you still want to lose fat and build muscle at the same time, you can watch a great video about this topic and how you can quickly turn on your fat burning genes. And you can watch that video, just click the link below in the description area. Also, you can watch the original video about today's question, which was ketogenic do's and don'ts. Well, that's it for today. I hope this uh, video was helpful and I appreciate your comments and questions. So continue with them. And as always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.